Every year, LEGO has published advent calendars. Generally speaking, they published a f several different ones. This year, I think, is an all-time high, five different calendars, and I've decided I'm only going to do three of them. In the past, I've bought every single one, most years, and written blog posts about them. This year, I'm trying something a little different with some video. Anyway, so here is the LEGO City Advent Calendar. Now, traditionally, the box has a flap that folds down from the front. And it kind of feels like it might, but it doesn't. It does instead on the back. So that's different. And if you're not uh, accustomed to LEGO Advent Calendars, you might be surprised to find that. So what you're supposed to do is cut... Oops, I cut too much. Cut there. And cut there. And then it comes down. And now you have your 24 days of Advent. On each day, of course, you open a different one of the doors. Door number one is over here. So this is the city calendar. And on the front, you can see the models that are included. A bunch of minifigures and holiday-themed adventures going on. And this year, I'm doing three calendars. I'm doing the city calendar. I'm doing the LEGO Friends calendar. The LEGO Friends calendar uh, has, in the last couple of years, been focused on making ornaments for your tree. This year it doesn't look like that's the case. Um, and also, again, the back has this flap that you can open up to access the doors, not the front. And another thing also to point out is that it says here, Advent Calendar, 24 gifts, right? On the city one. Advent calendar, 24 gifts. For the people who aren't necessarily well acquainted with this process, that seems important. For the first time, LEGO has a Guardians of the Galaxy Advent calendar. It does say 24 gifts Advent calendar over here, but it's not nearly as prominent as on the others. Um, and it says it here in very small text. And it's based on the TV Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special, which you can watch on Disney Plus, apparently. I haven't watched that yet, but I will watch it so that I can talk about this with a little bit more knowledge. And again on the back, we have the flap that you're supposed to open up to access the doors. But, it doesn't have anything on the box that tells you to do that. If you look at the city one, on the city one it's got this picture shows a picture of the advent calendar with the door open and arrows telling you how to open it. Same thing on the Friends one. Friends one, you got a big picture of the box over here, and you got the door folded down, and, the, and you can access, tells you how to do it. It doesn't have anything like that on this Marvel one. It has a picture of what the box looks like opened up, but it's not obvious to the new casual user what that means. There's no instructions, there's nothing that says fold down, there's no picture of arrows, there's just a big picture of a wall with numbers on it, and a flat plate, and some of the figures from the set. Doesn't even have any of the doors open. I think that's a real miss because Guardians of the Galaxy is not a traditional LEGO theme. So that means that this advent calendar is going to attract a lot of people who've never done LEGO advent calendars before, and they're not going to understand that what you're supposed to do is cut this little piece of tape up here and this little piece of tape over here and then fold down the back and now you've got your 24 doors. So that is a real miss, I think, that they're going to have a lot of complaints or confusion. I know one person who got their Guardians of the Galaxy Advent Calendar and didn't know what to do and opened up the side and pulled out the tray with all 24 gifts on it, ruining the surprise. So it's a real miss. Anyway, but now that we've got this open, let's see what day number one has in store for us. Today is December 1st, and behind door number one we have the Star-Lord. Um, and what I like to do is actually tear off the door. You can look at it in the camera here, and I can use that to build. So I'll put the box to one side, and we open up this little baggie. And in the little baggie we've got... You know, a minifigure. We know how to build those. Legs on torso, there's no neck piece, so just put the hat on. Put the hair on. He's got two he's got double sided face, so you can you can see here. I'll 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 do, I'll put photos up on my blog for, for that. But he's got a double sided face, so you can see he's got a a, a flat expression and a, a somewhat more smiley expression. 
Um, I need to get better lighting for this uh, video setup. I'll do that uh, over the course of the month. I'll get better. So we'll put these little roller skates sideways on these little thing on his feet. They give you one extra because it's a small piece. And he's supposed to hold these guns in his two hands because Lego is non-violent. And uh, there we go. Star-Lord. So that's day number one from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Put him to one side. What does Friends have for us? Well, let's get the Friends box up again. <clears throat> get my knife out. Just got this knife on Amazon. I really like it. So I've got one of those blades that folds out and it turns into a pair of scissors, which is pretty cool. So I don't want to show off too much, but check this out. And now it's a scissor. So if you need something to open your advent calendar with, I'll post a link to this because why not? On my blog, you can follow the link and buy one and give me some money. Here's the scene for friends and day number one is in the same place on each of the calendars it's always down here so again I'll take the door off and we have a female mini doll I don't know their names sorry and then we have a little bag with parts dump that out nothing much to say about this it's a mini doll she does have darker skin which is nice to see some racial variety um, sort of an olive skinned uh, person and there we have our first mini doll and then looking over at the city calendar again we turn it around backwards we lower down the flap door number one is in the same position we tear this off door number one is it looks like an airplane uh, so we'll build that maybe it's a helicopter hard to say for sure I like these little micro scale models. It's one of my favorite things about the uh, advent calendars when they give you these. Um, it's, a, it's a much of, often it has a lot of useful parts. This particular one, I would say it's not super useful. Uh, we got some basic plates. We have one in uh, this new uh, lighter yellow shade, which is nice, but otherwise uh, basic plates and basic parts for the most part. Um, but, Sometimes they do give you some nice uh, snot pieces for some more advanced building techniques. Um, I would say that's a pretty small wing for an airplane. I would call it a, more likely a helicopter, but uh, hard to be sure. And uh, this is, I guess, supposed to be the wheels? Very strange. Anyway, so where we have this, and then there's a little uh, tail fin as well. All right, so we have this little airplane for our city scene. Last year I didn't feel much like building the advent calendars because the city theme was very police focused and I'm not a big fan of the police, especially after 2020. Um, but I do understand they have their value and I'm, I'm very mixed feelings about it, but I really didn't want all that political thought creeping into my advent calendars. Um, so I just didn't build any of them. But this year it seems to be a little more civilian focused and we have three extra pieces from the city one. So that's day number one of our LEGO 2022 advent calendars, and we'll be posting more videos throughout the month. Hope you like it.